Andrew's making Stacy an extra large cup of tea. It's the sort of thing couples routinely do for one another, but in this case, Stacy needs to drink at least four litres of water a day because in December she had a kidney transplant. She was born with a visual impairment, but she only realised something else was going on last year. There's a lot of the symptoms that I had, um, so for example, chronic fatigue, um, I, I was physically sick two or three times a week, things like that. I had mass, really bad headaches uh, pretty much every two or three days. Things like that, breathlessness. I, I wouldn't have associated those with kidney failure. In fact, she was on the brink of organ failure, but she's not alone in failing to recognise the symptoms. Around 3 million people in the UK are thought to have kidney disease, with the effects of chronic kidney disease killing 60,000 people every year. Yet new research has found that 77% of people admit to having limited or no knowledge of its causes, symptoms or treatment. Until last year, Stacey would have been in that number. Symptoms such as tiredness, uh, losing one's appetite, feeling generally unwell and under the weather might be a sign of advanced kidney disease, but could be a sign of many, many other things. If you're in any doubt, it's worth pushing for a simple blood test like the one Stacey had. When she got the results, she went straight on to dialysis and was told she needed a transplant. Incredibly, there was a match very close to home. There weren't a, a lot of options, but, you know, I, I, was, so, I, you know, I was just wanting to, to do anything to get out of, that, out of that situation, you know. So I would have given my left arm to make life to go back to how it was, never mind my left kidney. Both of them are recovering well, as the body actually only needs one functioning kidney, and Stacey's body has accepted Andrew's spare. But she's finding the difference is in the small things. Things I didn't even know I'd lost in terms of my interest in things is back. Um, it was almost sort of like life just became grey when I was when I had kidney failure and, and I was on dialysis. And then as soon as the you know the transplant happened, things are starting to be colourful again. The couple can now concentrate on their future together. He may have given her his kidney, but he gave her his heart ages ago. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.